Um, here we are a week later from my last agronomy update and we've had another two inch plus rain in places and uh, still some corn and uh, quite a few beans left to be put into the ground across the ice states. So our picture has changed again in terms of nitrogen. What we talked about a week ago was we had just taken a two and a half inch rainfall and all that surface nitrogen getting moved down with water, leaching down into the drier subsoil below. And now we've compounded that by doubling the rainfall. So a, a big portion of central Illinois is looking at four to five inches in the last 10 days. And most of the pre-plant nitrogen is down and a good chunk of the corn crop is planted. And most of us this year, if we aren't always, we're farming for maximum yield because the grain price continues to hang in there and uh, go up. So there's some really attractive, you know, fall prices for this 2021 crop. So looking at your nitrogen plan again, it's time to start taking some data and making some decisions. Utilizing some of 360's tools, you can test your soil for nitrate. You can get the level of where you are and find out what, you know, what you applied, if it's still in the root zone at all at this stage, and what you're gonna need to be doing to replace that because we don't know what's coming. They've got more rain in the forecast here for the end of this coming week. And so if we continue to take these heavy flushing rainfalls, that pre-plant nitrogen is moving right out of the root zone. Just think about how small your root system is at this size. Uh, the, you know, the, the tallest corn I've seen in the central part of the I States is not even at V2 yet. So you have a root system no longer than your index finger. So, you know, it's gonna take a while before we get some, a root system of some size. And the corn plant needs nitrogen starting now. It starts taking up nitrogen at germination uh, slowly at first, and then it really kicks on about the V5 to V6 leaf stage when your corn is knee to between your knee and your hip, when those nodal roots emerge. It really needs a lot of nitrogen from there through tassel, and then a lot yet post tassel. So the, the tools are on the market. Um, we've had you know very good questions coming in from the field. Uh, a lot of demand for the wide drop technology, both for side dress bars and high clearance sprayers, because uh, everyone you know, understands that that's where the best yields are coming from. And that's what we're gonna need to do to raise the best yields, especially if we continue to get these rains.